Hello everyone, my name is Miguel Perez and in this video is a brief explanation of my study about distance education in times of COVID-19 and the experiences of teachers and students. The pandemic impacted the Universidad Veracruzana in March of 2020, forcing us to use virtual modality in a certain way. The study tried to be objective in order to highlight each of the experiences of students and professors, in addition to serving as a history of problems to be solved in other similar situations. In the study, I explained distance education as a flexible and virtual form in consideration of the students. For this modality, multimodal communication is used. That is, we use technological tools to learn and be connected. Synchronous activities are those in which the teacher and the student must be in the same virtual room to interact immediately. Examples of these activities are through Google Meet, Teams, or Zoom, while in asynchronous activities do not need to interact immediately. Examples of these activities are through educational platforms such as Eminus and Edmodo. The problem to consider are the management of digital tools by teachers and students lack of internet or adequate tools to work, lack of interest, lack of feedback from teachers or ways to evaluate. This study is qualitative through interviews. These were implemented to 20 students and teachers of the Faculty of English Languages. The interviewers were contacted through WhatsApp or engineers or institutional mail, while they were interviewed through video conferences or Google Forms. Among the findings, I knew I was going to find very different opinions. Each one have different points of view. There were those who loved working remotely and others who did not like it at all. Obviously, each one have different opinions because some lack of digital tools, sometimes the teacher did not have them, others prefer to be face to face to interact and practice, each one has had their own reasons and experiences. As a conclusion, I know that it has not been easy for everyone to adapt to this modality some were able to adapt very well and demonstrate it in their performance, but there were also people who did not have a good time, had personal problems or simply could not adapt. It is important to be always up to date because technology is advancing rapidly and provides us many useful tools for learning new languages. Now with the hybrid modality, Several problems can be solved, but that does not mean that one new ones will not arise.